Meet Alex. Alex just finished watching a video about ChatGPT, self-driving cars, and AI-generated art. Now, Alex is curious. Should I study machine learning or not? But when Alex starts searching online, all the terms get really confusing. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, neural networks. Wait, aren't these all the same things? Not quite. Let's break it all down using Alex's journey to understand the difference between AI, machine learning, and deep learning. Let's start with artificial intelligence or AI, which is the big umbrella of all these terms. To make it super simple, Think of it as making computers that can reason, learn, and act like humans normally do. So when we say AI, we're talking about a wide variety of fields like voice assistants like Siri or Alexa, self-driving cars, robots, playing chess, and even spam filters in email. These are all part of AI. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning are often used interchangeably when discussing all things AI, that's why it's so confusing. Now, machine learning is a subset of AI, which is how we teach computers to learn on their own without being directly programmed for every single task. Machine learning helps computers find patterns in data and make smart predictions when they see new information. There are three main types of machine learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Now let's go back to Alex's original question. Should I learn machine learning or not? Imagine Alex asks 100 people who learned machine learning these yes or no questions. One about their background, two about learning, and three about job status. Now Alex puts this into a spreadsheet, a column for background, a learning, and a career. Now this is supervised learning. The machine sees lots of labeled data, what people did, what happened. Then it learns patterns like people who already work in tech and learn ML, tend to get better jobs. Now when Alex adds their background, let's say they're a data scientist, the system can predict whether learning machine learning will help them get a job or not. This is called supervised because machine learns with supervision. You did A and B happen. Now imagine Alex has answers from a thousand people. He doesn't directly ask yes or no questions anymore on whether learning machine learning helped them get a better job or not. The machine has to group people on its own without being told what's right or wrong. It might cluster them into groups like people in tech who take machine learning courses or people in data roles who never finish the courses or students who learn machine learning and later switch jobs. In unsupervised learning, the algorithm looks for natural patterns or similarities in the data on its own. It doesn't necessarily know if machine learning leads to good or bad results for anyone, it's just looking for similar patterns. This time, Alex decides to try learning machine learning by doing, so no predictions, no data from other people. Alex first tries a YouTube video and didn't really understand it, then tries a beginner-friendly course felt a little bit better, then built a mini project, which was super exciting. Now Alex gets feedback from each step. Was it confusing or was it fun? Over time, Alex learns which path works best for them. And this is an example of reinforcement learning. The machine or Alex tries things out get rewards or penalties, and learns what actions lead to better outcomes. It's kind of like playing a game and getting points for good moves and penalties for bad moves. Over time, it learns what to do to be successful. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning, more specifically, neural networks. Neural networks are made up of layers of nodes. These are kind of like mini decision makers. Each layer looks at the data passes it along, and then helps the system learn more complex ideas. When you have a lot of these layers, it's called deep learning. So if you still remember Alex, we're still trying to figure out, should I learn machine learning or not? Now Alex dumps in a giant mess of real world stuff like job listings, YouTube comments, tweets about AI careers, bunch of LinkedIn profiles, and even full Reddit threads like, should I learn machine learning in 2025? A simple machine learning algorithm might have a difficult time making sense of all of this data. And that's where we use deep learning. So instead of Alex 
labeling everything. This is helpful. This is not helpful. Deep learning reads thousands of posts and learns sort of the vibe. What phrases are people using when they recommend learning machine learning? What kind of jobs mention machine learning skills? What kind of people succeed after taking courses? Then it can answer based on all the analysis people like you should learn machine learning. So from all these options, what model should Alex use? Let's talk about the trade-offs here. Machine learning is simple. It works with less data, but it needs human label data. Deep learning learns on its own. It works really well with images, speech, and videos, but it does need a lot of data. So depending on what type of problem you're trying to solve, you might go with different models. And after all this research, Alex decided to learn machine learning basics to begin with. Then later, if needed, they'll dive deeper into deep learning. And whether you want to build an app, analyze data, or just be prepared for the future, learning AI is a great first step. And if you want a simple breakdown of AI concepts, you want to watch this video and I'll see you there.